What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Kill coming back with another video, man. Today we're gonna go ahead and talk about all things auto tune. So not just entrees auto tune. We're gonna compare a few different types of pitch correction. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's all auto tune is. It's correcting your pitch of your vocals, whether that's fast or slow. You know what I'm saying? If you want that Travis Scott sound or you want a more natural sound to where you can barely tell you got auto tune, it can all be accomplished with all three of these plugins. So today we're gonna be focusing on three plugins. Auto Tune Pro from Ontario, so it's actually the official Auto Tune right here. It's what you're looking at, Auto Tune Pro. And then we got Meta Tune right here from Slate Digital. That's also super fire. We're gonna talk about how to use that. And we got standard pitch correction that's built into Logic. They all three work. They all three can get the job done. Some of them have advantages, some of them have drawbacks, but they, when it comes down to basic pitch correction, they all can work. So if you don't got Auto Tune and you just got pitch correction, rock out with it until you can maybe get auto-tune or maybe you don't need it maybe you just rock out with pitch correction but let's go ahead and get into it man so um i'm gonna just let y'all hear this little snippet of my boy's song he's dope um it's not out yet so i can't really play too much for y'all but i can give y'all a little preview so this is just like the little hook part right here um and then i'm gonna just play it with auto-tune we're gonna talk about the settings so real quick before i play it the first thing you always want to do auto-tune is you want to set the key and you want to set the input type. So if a person has a higher voice or whatever, or like a, it's like a, you know, like a, uh, if a girl is singing or either a, a male that has a higher voice or he gets higher, most of the time you want to be in alto tenor. If it's super low and super deep, you want to be in low male. So make sure you always get that first. Then you want to go ahead and set your key. The key of this song is E major. If you don't know how to find a key to a song, all you got to do is get auto key. You know what I'm saying? If you can't afford auto key, it's only 50 bucks, but if you can't afford auto key, you can figure it out by listening to it, turn up your retune speed, do that. If you know music theory, you can figure it out. That way, it's, it's a couple different ways. Also though, if you can't, or you don't wanna pay for the um, actual auto key, I believe, let me pull it up real quick. Yeah, they have a whole app, bro. They have a, a whole app, so they have an app on your phone to where you can just play the song that you're working on or whatever, and it's gonna tell you the key. And actually, I believe the app is free. So y'all go ahead and check that out. Auto Key, that's from Auto Tune. It's on the App Store. Go check it out. So let's go ahead and get to this. This video not gonna be that long. Um, we're just gonna talk about the differences and how you can get a good sounding Auto Tune sound from, from these three plugins. So let's play it with the official Auto Tune, the one that everybody knows. And let's just see what it sounds like. But I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. Cause I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write no street shit. Cause I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough. Cause I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. All right, so that sounded good. Now, this particular artist wanted a lot of auto tune on his. So you can see my retune speed is six. So that's kind of a lot. So if, if you use an auto tune, you don't know how to use it. There's a couple different things you can do on here. You can flex tune it, you can humanize it, and you can mess with the vibrato or the vocal. Um, these were real basic settings right here. If we just had a lot of auto tune, so the retune speed was fast at six. And uh, you know, if you want a more natural sound, then you just pull back on it. You would just pull it way back, and it goes all the way back to 400. We're gonna put this back on six. Um, so basically, we're just going to compare this sound with the other auto-tunes, and I just want you guys in the comments to let me know what you think, and I'm going to say my opinion on it. Um, no humanization on this. Humanizing it just makes it sound a little bit more natural. If you were looking for that, you can do that. And then you got the transpose and the throat up here. So there's a couple different perks that come with getting the auto-tune pro. This is a couple hundred dollar plug-in. So, you know, it's a little expensive, but if you can do it, or either you can get the subscription. The subscription is like $25 a month. So if you want that and you just want to try out every single auto-tune plugin, you can do that. I, um, I recommend that if you just want to test it out. But I don't recommend keeping that and just paying it because you're not paying to buy it. You're just paying to use it. So you might as well just buy it. Um, but yeah, Auto-Tune Pro is dope. I use this in a lot of mixes. But if I only had Metatune or Pitch Correction, I'm sure I would be fine too because there's other different ways to do these throat effects and there's other different ways to do this detuning. And yeah, it may take more plugins, but it's still possible. So um, next, let's go ahead and disable this, and let's just go ahead and put on this MetaTune from Slate Digital. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. So right here on the MetaTune from Slate Digital, it looks like it's a lot going on, but it's really simple. It's basically the same thing. You got the amount of auto-tune you got going right here. You got the speed. I'm going with a fast retune speed right here. 
Um, so it wants so it's audible, and you actually have. I like this. This is super dope, and this is something that Auto Tune Pro doesn't have. But it has a doubler built in, and it also has a doubler width right here. So that's super dope. You can play with the vocals and get different textures and stuff right there. But if you just hover over this right here, you can set your key. I already set the key, so it's E major, and that's it. Simple E major. So let's listen to it. But I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't talk like I'm tough because I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough because I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. All right, can you really tell the difference? They both sound dope. So let's go back to Auto Tune Pro real quick and let's see if we can really tell the major difference. But I can't write no street shit cuz I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough cuz I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write no street shit cuz I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough cuz I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. All right, let's go back to the metal tune from Slate Digital. But I can't write no street shit cuz I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough cuz I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write no street shit. All right, so I think they both sound dope. It's just a matter of, you know, do you need those extra effects with auto tune cuz you can really now from listening to them back to back maybe right now the Auto Tune Pro sounds a little bit cleaner, but I think I'm hearing a little bit less of the tune from the auto tune pro but that's really just the retune speed so if i was to pull this back let's say just it was at two so let's pull it back to four and let's see what that sounds like but i can't write no street shit because i've been running from it. i can't write no love songs i ain't feeling nothing i can't pop like i'm tough because i've been kind of folding i always leave when they get rough i see you in the so there you go right there now that's almost un unidentifiable now let me go back to the auto tune pro but i can't write no street shit because i've been running from it. i can't write no love songs i ain't feeling nothing Cause I've been kind of folding I always leave when they get rough I see you in the morning I can't write no street shit But I can't write no you know what I'm saying? So going back and forth between the two, you really can't tell that much of a difference. They both sound dope. So whether you got Metatune or you got Autotune Pro, you still gonna get a great sound. All you need to know is making sure it's in the right key, making sure you got the right voice input type set, and making sure you got the retune speed that you're looking for, and you're gonna get that desired effect. So Next, let's go ahead and pull up the stock, the third pitch correction plugin right here. And you know, if you just got Logic and you just getting into this and you ain't got a lot of plugins, this can get the job done, bro. This can definitely get the job done. So let's go ahead and play this real quick with stock pitch correction. My key is set, as you can see, E major. That is the key of this song. So let's play it. But I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough because I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough because I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough. I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs. I ain't feeling nothing. All right, so let's compare this with Metatune. No, actually, let's compare this with Official Autotune, back to back, and that sounds great too. So as you can see clearly, there's not much of an audible difference between these three plugins. So let's go ahead and turn this off, turn the Autotune back on, play it, then I'm gonna let it loop around one time, and we're gonna turn the pitch correction back on. But I can't write no street shit cause I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs, I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough cause I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough, I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write. All right, so let's go ahead and switch that to the pitch correction. But I can't write no street shit because I've been running from it. I can't write no love songs, I ain't feeling nothing. I can't pop like I'm tough because I've been kind of folding. I always leave when they get rough, I see you in the morning. I can't write no street shit, but I can't write. All right, so there you have it, man. Auto tune versus meta tune versus pitch correction. Y'all let me know in the comments who y'all think won, what sounded the best, and uh, let me know what you use. If this video helped you out at all, make sure you leave a like in a comment, share the video for your boy. You know it helps the channel out. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and join the family. We having content every single week, man. So y'all go ahead and tap in. If you are subscribed, go ahead and put on them post notifications. We got crazy content coming soon, man. And I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. I'm out.